YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back with a what's in the box on Pentair's IntelliClore generator. Stay tuned, we're gonna kind of dive in and show you guys what to expect and give you guys some background on this. All right, and we're back. So again, today we're gonna to do a what's in the box on Pentair's IntelliClore generator. So this is a specific transformer made only for Pentair salt cells. So you should not be using this on any other salt cells. It's meant to function specifically with Pentair salt cells. So this is actually the e-commerce version. So this is available directly to purchase on our website. Uh, for any of those trade professionals or any local viewers, you guys can always hit us up, come by, hit the retail, and be able to actually purchase the um, non-EC version. But they are exactly the same. Again, if you guys want to know any more information about EC and trade grade, check out the links below. We actually have a video and a blog that kind of walks you through what to expect for that. But for today's video, we just kind of want to tear into this and show you guys what to expect. So this transformer is going to work with power supplies for both 115 and 230. So to basically versatile against any power that you have out there. Obviously, it's not going to work on a commercial 208 or anything higher than a 230. Uh, again, a, can go up to a 240 it just depends on the fluctuation in your in your area so it is meant for those two major power supplies so let's dive into this and just kind of show you guys what it looks like it is very deceiving um it was a, actually a little joke we just had right now my uh, camera guy just tried to lift it up with one hand and it was not happening so they, just because the boxes are are small this thing does have some weight it, i believe the shipping weight on this thing is somewhere around 15 pounds but for how small the box is it definitely throws you off so let's open the outer box this is one thing that i love about these chlorinators and how pantera packs them so you have your traditional outside box writing it all and then you open it up and of course we get the exact same box so it's kind of nifty how they like to put a box in a box and then not to mention what the actual transformer looks like when we dive in here it, it kind of cracks me up on the uh, redundancies they did here to make sure that this thing ships efficiently as well as make sure that nothing dents or breaks for you guys so open it back up all right now we got product we're not into another box so first thing they're going to give you guys obviously is their instruction manual you guys can walk through this kind of see what to expect uh, we do have videos on other transformers but because this one is specific for your actual IntelliClore, you will want to read this user manual we should have another video coming your guys's way with a full installation on it so then that way you guys can kind of see the differences between a traditional um, 12 volt transformer compared to the actual IntelliClore transformer so take a look at those before you guys dive in especially for those diys out there that are actually going to do this yourself just make sure you guys follow through this Anytime you're messing with power, you always want to make sure that you guys are absolutely sure of what you're doing so that you guys don't take the risk of shocking yourself with that uh, 230 or 240. So be gentle here as I slide this out. Try not to scratch my tail. All right. And as you guys can see, they do add a lot more additional packaging in here to just make sure that nothing moves around, nothing rattles because this is gonna actually be the case that gets mounted out by your pool equipment. They try to make sure that it stays as pretty as possible for you guys so they don't have any scratches or dents on it. So it's really nice that they kind of do that for you. So essentially, this is what you're looking at. Um, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. You guys can actually take this off. The top will open up and you guys can actually see what the internals look like. Traditionally, they have the punch outs on the bottom here for you guys so that you can actually have a power in and then obviously doing a communication or a power out to your salt cell. So again, the instruction manual, as well as our other video, will kind of actually walk you guys through what to expect for that. Um, but they do give you a grounding bond here with the, with the copper on the bottom. They do give you um, the actual communication plug from the salt cell here. So really, really cool that they actually have this as a separate part to purchase. It does allow you guys to add in those salt cells later especially in 2021 when we're dealing with a huge chlorine shortage it's really nice to be able to add these things to your pool later compared to having to do this from a, an initial startup so again all in all that's pretty much what comes in the box for the actual salt chlorinator um, generator power center 
they call it a multitude of different names. Um, so make sure you guys check out the links below. We actually have this directly available on our website. Again, it's available in both e-commerce as well as a trade great version for any of our local viewers. So make sure you guys uh, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We got a ton more videos coming your way on a bunch of Pentair products. Until then, I'm Kyle with Pool Supply. We'll see you next time. Thank you.